So uh, I I have told people that the highest compliment I've ever gotten Aww. from anyone at any time was from you. When you said that you were writing The Martian, putting down, you know, laying down some science to track, and you imagined I was looking over your shoulder. Oh, yeah. What if Neil deGrasse the, Tyson reads this? On the brink of <laughs> tweeting about some mess up in your book. <laughs> yes. And you didn't want that. I didn't want that. You didn't want that. So um, is, is that, am, am I still there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> am oh, I still yeah. there on your shoulder? Oh, yeah. No, no. I was. At, you're, you're still there. You're still there on my shoulder. Uh, in fact, Artemis is even more scientifically accurate than the Martian. Mm. It do, The Martian projected forward some technologies like ion and ion propulsion. And, sure. and it, I completely ignored the effects of radiation on, on my, I just made this magical hab material that would stop radiation. I get offered no explanation. Um, in Artemis, I didn't, I didn't even do that. I said, like, all right, you know, <laughs> Artemis has the, the the whole thickness to protect people from radiation. When you go out on an EVA, I calculated, uh, let's say you're a tourist and you go out on an EVA in one of those hamster balls, you don't have a bunch of, like, protection from a traditional EVA suit. How much radiation do you get? Turns out over a two-hour EVA during the lunar daytime, you would get about the same amount of radiation as a, getting a set of dental x-rays. Mm -hmm. So that's fine. That's the measure. But I checked. And the reason I checked <laughs> is because I knew you'd check. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I, you know I, get, I get misunderstood in many of my... I, I'm there to just enhance people's appreciation of the book or mm. of the yeah, movie. Yeah, sure. And and I'm you know I get characterized as a buzzkill, but no, I'm that's really not, just keeping everybody keeping them honest, just keeping it. And I'm not, song. See, I'm I'm a, I, I guess I'm in some I don't know if I'm in a minority or whatever. I'm in the opposite camp. I love I love that. <laughs> I, I, I I love what other people apparently consider a buzzkill. I I I'm like yeah, you tell them, Neil, because 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 <laughs> because uh, it drives me crazy. Like. Um, what what really bugs me in a story isn't so much physics inaccuracies. I can accept a warp drive. You know, I got no problem with that. You know, for suspension of disbelief, no problem. What bothers me is inconsistencies. Yep. So if you can go faster than light, I remember there's one episode of Star Trek where they're in the, you know, classic Trek. They're in the Enterprise, right? It can go warp. I forget what classic Trek Enterprise could go warp. Uh, ten nine, at least ten. Nine, yeah, yeah, nine. Yeah. Something like that. And but then at one point they're like, okay, we need to get from Mercury to Earth. And it like took them a while. And I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, no. Mercury is like seven light minutes from Earth, and you're going many, many times the speed of light. It's not going to take you a while. <laughs> so, yeah, that one that slipped by. Yeah, that yeah, slipped by. Uh, there was the other episode where they wanted to magnify the sound of people's heartbeats to find out where the alien was uh -huh. in the spacecraft. And was it Spock or Kirk said, this device magnifies the sound by one to the twelfth power. One to the twelfth power. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Yeah, one times one times one times one. Times one. one. All, All the way to the twelfth time. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, the, and then uh, I thought, okay, they just misread it. And then there's a similar in, error in another episode. Yeah. Where it was like one to the ninth power. So somebody just didn't remember Just their... doesn't get that. Yeah. Well, I remember in a book, now that's not fair bagging on Star Trek books because there's so many, but mm -hmm. I remember one of the Star Trek books, um, Kirk says, Scotty, I want every ohm of power to the shields. Ohm of power. Ooh. Yeah. So to which I imagine Scotty saying, well, he wants maximum resistance, so I guess I'll just turn him <laughs> off. <laughs>